Happy Monday! Today I want to ask you, how did you get started in your fitness journey or your run? Like, why did you become a runner if you're a runner? What was it that inspired you? Why did you take that first step? And I bet that the question, the answer has a lot to do with someone who influenced you positively or maybe invited you to do something. And the reason I come, I'm sharing this today is because I was, we started our run, lift fuel group today. And one of the questions I asked people to introduce themselves was why they started running. And I was just amazed as I was reading through the responses. One of the girls said a friend challenged her to do a 10 K and she laughed at her. And then she ended up doing it. She started to believe in herself. Another girl said that a coworker invited her to be part of a marathon relay. And again, she said, no, I don't run at all. I would never do that. And then she did it. And that's what I want to encourage you to remember that it doesn't, your, your decision to go out and reach out a hand and invite someone and encourage someone to challenge themselves is the, is, could change someone's life. And I think we so often prejudge and we don't invite someone to do that 5k with us or to do the workout program with us, or we're afraid to become a coach because we're afraid no one's going to want to do it. And we prejudge that person. We think, well, they're not a runner, so they're not going to want to do this, or they're not active. So they're not going to want to do this, or they're already doing this other thing. So why would they want to do this? But sometimes all it takes is one person reaching out, encouraging you to do something to help that person get into their mind and start to open up new horizons and go to that next level. My husband invited me to do an Ironman triathlon and we were dating at the time. He had done one and he, he saw in me that I could do it way before I thought I could do it myself. He planted the seed he encouraged me. And then I made the decision that I wanted to do that Ironman. And when I crossed the finish line of my first Ironman, my only, my Ironman, it was one of the most proud moments of my entire life because I proved to myself that I could do something that was so hard that I never thought I could do. And it was one of the most impactful, empowering, most memorable moments of my life. So what I want to encourage you today is who can you make that impact on today? Who can you reach out to and encourage and invite to join you on a run or invite you to do a turkey trot coming up? Maybe it's your mom. Maybe it's a cousin. Maybe it's anyone. Mike and I actually also hosted a 5k the day after our wedding. We're crazy. And we, it was at 10 AM you guys, but the day after our wedding, we had a 5k and I had three people in my family complete their first 5k that day. And that was, I mean, not as meaningful as getting married, but it was one of the highlights of the entire weekend was knowing that because I chose to make everyone do a 5k, there was bagels and donuts at the end. Don't worry that I helped someone do something that they had never thought they would do before. So I just want to, again, encourage you to go out and inspire someone today. And if you've had on your mind that you potentially, like, what if you could be a coach? What if you could do what I do and get to help inspire others to make steps towards becoming a better version of themselves? I have an info session coming up this Wednesday. I would love for you to come and just listen and learn more about the coaching opportunity. No six pack abs, no fast, super fast running times. None of that is required. It's just your desire to help other people make changes. So if you'd like to be part of that info session, let me know and get you the link. And either way, I encourage you today to go out and inspire someone to make a change.